main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down Ready, right now. Ready. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. So Vanderlei Silva back in the octagon here tonight. A lot of fans supporting the building as usual. And let's see how early on he chooses to attack here. At times we have seen Vanderlei wait to see what the opponent is giving him. Most expect he will move forward and try to land haymakers here early tonight. Big punch. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? John Jones is very good at countering his opponents. Keep an eye out for that in this fight. Showing that punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. John Jones with a brutal leg kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that left, Joe. John Jones with a stiff jab. That one hurt. Right hand over the top. Slips the shot, finds a home for that left hook. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Punches in bunches, timing perfect. Better play, better defense than that. Beautiful straight punch there by Jones. Good defense here, Joe, as the hook to the head is blocked. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Oh, what a leg kick. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line and out of harm's way. And he lands the roundhouse. And he's looking for that left. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Jones. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Going to the body there with the right kick. And he che he's checking every single one of those. Silva gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Wow! He's stumbling. Oh, big kick to the head. Beautiful hook. Punches block. No, oh, the left leg goes high. Nice counter left there. Went for the head kick. Went for the elbow. Wow. 
who is next. Let's take a look at some of the action from this round. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Mountain seed change. Okay, let's see some Ali. Let's see some basic combo. He's starting to time your... Brittany Palmer with us. Second round underway. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's gonna wanna look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. John Jones is perhaps the greatest talent we've ever seen inside the octagon. In just a short time, managed to achieve overall MMA greatness and became the youngest ever UFC world champion. How about that shin? This could be it right here. Big shots! Wow! That one appeared to stun him. He tagged him, he tagged him. He's hurt bad. Big knee to the body! Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush, so... Let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Oh! He's trying to stay up. He is in big, big trouble. The left hook hits home. Nice leg kick. Hard hook. Oh! Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see. Oh! This could be it! So he hurt him again! Oh, very nice. Oh, he hurt him again. He's trying to hang on. Oh, nice knee! Oh, he might be out. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Watch this again here. I mean, just stiff. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout, John Bones! So Johnny Bones does it again. Congratulations to John Jones, to Mike Winkle, John, to the rest of the team. This is a big win here tonight. A lot of people wanted to see where John Jones was at at this stage of his career, and I think he proved here tonight. This is still a very prime John Jones, and on his best night, he's the best light heavyweight in the world, certainly proved as much here tonight. Congratulations to the UFC.